the Pub Songs Podcast live at Dragon Crowd. The crowd goes wild. Oh, wait, this is the pub edition when you can't actually hear anything. So <laughs> my name is Mark Gunn, and I'm going to sing some songs for you for Dragon Con. And you can watch the video. I am hope you enjoy the show. All right. She's shiny. Oh, so shiny. Oh, don't say a word. I'm in love with that girl. Yes, yeah, she's shiny. Oh, 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 so shiny. She keeps spinning around and round in a world. Carrying the weight of heartache from her past. Running towards a future that won't last What a beaut That girl makes my heart sore She lights the night like a brightly shining star Cause she's shiny Oh, oh, so shiny Oh, don't say a word I'm in love with that girl She's shiny, oh, 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 so shiny. She keeps spinning around and around in a world. Dressed up for a fancy ball in the dark of night. Ain't gonna pull my punches, cause I love to fight. Before I knew. Things got out of control I set my sights on making it out Cause she's shiny Oh, oh, so shiny I don't say a word I'm in love with that girl Yes, she's shiny Oh, 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 so shiny Spinning around and round in a world. Sometimes she doesn't like the way I deal. Sometimes she lets me know we steal. Sometimes she sets good men on fire. Climb aboard and she'll ride down your. Cause she's shiny, oh, oh, so shiny oh, Don't say a word, I'm in love with that girl Yes, yeah, she's shiny, oh, 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 so shiny She keeps spinning around and around Found her in down and out dirty place. Head down, a feeling of disgrace. I looked inside and I saw hope in her eyes. I knew right then that that firefly would fly. Cause she's shiny. Oh, oh, so shiny. I don't say a word I'm in love with that girl Yes, she's shiny Oh, 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 so shiny She keeps spinning around and around in a world Yes, she's shiny Oh, 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 so shiny I don't say a word I'm in love with that girl. Woo! <clears throat> All right, so my name is Mark Gunn, and I want to start by thanking the Dragon Con digital media track. Charles, thank you so much for helping to put this all together. So I started doing the, uh, the digital media track, I don't know, 15 years ago? 16, I, I think it was like a 2005 or six maybe 2007 at the latest 
when I started doing closing out the convention with a Pub Songs podcast. Uh, it's a podcast I've been doing that long. I started in 2005. And it's been running on and on and on, and I'm so proud of it. it, it there's times that I was like, eh, I'm going to let it go. And then actually Dragon Con is one of the big reasons why it's still here, because every year they're like, hey, you want to do that podcast again? I'm like, yes, I do. And I guess I should put it on the podcast. And I don't think I actually put all the shows on my podcast. But hopefully this one will make it up there. Um, so <laughs> I, I, that's my plan anyways. I'm always looking for content, content these days, so... So this show is uh, going to be a lot of sing-alongs. That's what I do with pub songs. It's about singing along. And in order to sing along properly, you need to send an email to singalong at kelpfather.net. Singalong at kelpfather.net. Um, that will send you, uh, if you send an email there, you'll get a whole bunch of little gifts. This is really cool. But there's also my songbook. Uh, it doesn't have all my songs, but it has a whole bunch of the most popular songs, many of which will be played in the show. Uh, so if you enjoy some of the music, you know. And if it's not in there, let me know. I might add it in just just for you. So drop me a line. Sing along at keltfather.net. This song is a uh, song that I wrote at the Louisiana Renaissance Festival. I was looking for a good song about tipping. And then you know, it's funny how inspiration sometimes hits you. And then all of a sudden it turned into a, a song about Celtic karma <laughs> with a great chorus. When I sing Slanchava, you're going to sing it back to me. Oh, Slanchava. Slanchava means here's to your good health in, in Irish. Uh, Slancha is here's to your health. Va is good and it's spelled completely different from what it sounds. But when I sing Slanchava, you're going to shout it back to me. I go, Slanchava. That's it. okay. I know we're digital. And you're thinking, oh, I don't have to shout along. But that's part of what a good pub song show is about. It's about interacting, about singing along. So, okay, let's try this again. I need to hear you right now. Okay, let's try this again. You, not quite there. I think you can get a little louder. And if you can't shout it, you can type it, huh? You can always type it with all caps. All right. Slanches, S-L-A-I-N-T-E. Va is P M H A I T H. Yeah, yeah, Gaelic. Slanchava! Slanchava! Here's to your good health, one and all. If your soul feels rather thirsty and you hear the crate the call, raise up the glass of Slanchava. Many times in my life, forgot the kindness code I read, the sorry seeds that I sowed. But when I gave instead of took, as when my spirit rode, my charity turned into liquid gold. All together now. Slanchava, slanchava. Here's to your good health, one and all. If the soul feels rather thirsty and you hear the crate the call, raise up your classic slanchava. Now, as I said, this song is more than just a song, uh, a good drinking song, a good sing-along, a good pub song. But it's also what I like to call Celtic karma, as you'll find out in this next verse. Your work week was a bear You're feeling rather low You head down to the pub to watch a show There the singer makes you smile And the beard makes you glow So sing along with me before you go Slanchava, slanchava Here's to your good health, one and all If your soul feels rather thirsty And you hear the crate the call Raise up your glass and slanchava Let me hear you Slanchava Here's to your good health, one and If your soul feels rather thirsty and you hear the crate the call, raise up your glassy slanchava. <laughs> good job, very good job. Hey, if you haven't done so, uh, you can find out not only my mailing list at singalong at kelpfather.net, but you can also buy CDs over there. Uh, uh, I didn't teach you that yet. So when I say I have CDs, or I just say CDs, you say, you have CDs? The leap at the end really makes it, and sometimes you go off screen. But try it. I have CDs. You have CDs? Uh, again, if you're not shouting it, then you need to type it. So let me see those typing. Get that out there, all right? All right, so let's do this. Um, so I have a lot of CDs. Okay. All right. Uh, but uh, this one is going to be for my, my Irish drinking songs from for Cat Lovers series. 
Yes, it's a pet project of mine. <laughs> I choke on my own <laughs> joke. <laughs> what shall we do with a catnip kitty? What shall we do with a catnip kitty? What shall we do with a catnip kitty? Early in the morning. We pounce We pounce We pounce early in the morning. Put him in his cat bed till it's over. Put him in his cat bed till it's over. Put him in his cat bed till it's over. Early in the morning. We pounce We pounce we out to the early in the morning. Blow some bubbles and watch and chase them. Blow some bubbles, watch and chase them. Blow some bubbles, watch and chase them early in the morning. We out to we out to we out to the early in the morning. Touch him on the back and watch him jump high. Touch him on the back, watch him jump high. Touch him on the back, watch him jump high early in the morning. We out to we out to we out to. Like in the morning, pry him off your bleeding shoulders. Pry him off your bleeding shoulders. Pry him off your bleeding shoulders. Like in the morning, we pounce, we pounce, we pounce. We pounce. We pounce. Like in the morning, put him in the bed, you sleeping father. Put him in the bed, you sleeping father. Put him in the bed, you sleeping father. Like in the morning, we pounce, we pounce, we pounce. Like in the morning. You should have seen your sleeping father. You should have seen your sleeping father. You should have seen your sleeping father. Early in the morning, we pounce, we pounce, we pounce. Early in the morning, he screamed like your little sister. He screamed like your little sister. He screamed like early in the morning, we pounce, we pounce, we pounce, we pounce. We pounce. We pounce. Early in the morning. I jumped up on top of the bedpost. I jumped up on top of the bedpost. He jumped up on top of the bedpost. Air like in the morning. We pounce. We pounce. We pounce. Air like in the morning. That she do with a catnip kitty. That she do with a catnip kitty. That she do with a catnip kitty. Air like in the morning. Woo. I do have two beautiful daughters. My oldest is now 10. My youngest is five. I like to sing to them to sleep each and every night. For some reason, they wake up a nightmare sometimes. I don't know why. But this is a lullaby I like to sing to them. Close your eyes and sleep There are demons in your dreams Go to sleep, my darling There's a demon underneath your bed The demons in your bed Are gonna eat you up Stay in your bed There are landmines on the floor The demons in your bed are gonna eat you up Sugar and spice and everything nice Why do you think we say that? It's so the demons underneath your bed will want to eat you up. You used to have a sister. She wouldn't go to sleep. So the demons underneath her bed ate her up Do not call for your mother Who is it that you think who let the demons in it's true. to eat you up Snakes and snails and puppy dog tails 
Who can account for the taste of demons? The demons in your bed are gonna eat you up. My father sang this song to me, but he slipped and he fell on a landmine. And the demons underneath my bed ate him up. That is not a blanket. Good night. Oh, this is a good time to point out that, uh, you know, the CDs? Yeah, CD sales. They go to pay for my daughter's therapy when they grow up. So, like I said, they don't sleep well at night. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, where, where do I go from here? I think I'm going to, I'm actually totally winging this show. It's normal for the end of Dragon Con because, you know, I'm exhausted and I'm like, whoa, oh my God. What am I going to play? I don't know. I'll just let people decide. But unfortunately, I don't have an audience here to, well, I mean, that's that's right here, you know, to tell me. You should play this song. And so I'm going to play uh, this song. This is a song that I wrote for the In The Verse podcast. Uh, this is a podcast I started with my friend Mikey Mason, who is a, Celtic, uh, who is a geek rock musician. Um, he, uh, he and I started doing this. We both love Firefly, the TV show. And we love it so much that we start a podcast where we watch each episode and then we write songs inspired by each episode. Um, it's been a great run. We finished up the the uh, last episode of Firefly uh, a few a couple months ago. We're planning on doing more, but we haven't figured out where we're going yet. So stay tuned for that. But uh, this is one of the, the songs that was written for the episode. Which one was this? Was that episode three? Three, um, I'm telling you, the one with the the reverb. Well, I was it got me thinking. I, I was starting wondering, like, uh, you know, I I do drinking songs, right? Yeah, lots of drinking songs. But I was also thinking, you know, reavers, you know, they're flying ships for heaven's sake, right? They're they have spaceships and they're keeping them in air. So obviously they're not totally mentally dead, even though they seem like monsters and they're a little bit angry. Uh, who knows their whole situation? Whatever the case, all I know is that uh, they probably have their own drinking songs, and this is probably one of them. Mash their heads, lay their skin, and make them scream in pain. Let him alone and think you're done. Let's start another refrain. Nishka was old and scary, a bad reputation. And then he heard a reaver scream. His body's gone for cremation. Mash their heads, lay their skin, and make them scream in pain. Let him alone and think you're done. Let's start another refrain. Badger was a businessman, roots in the community. A reaver ate his little gang, and now he can't even pee. Bash their heads and lay their skins and make them scream in pain. Let him alone and think you're done. Let's start another refrain. Durin's steak was always rare before I first met him. He met a reaver, now won't eat steak, he's a vegetarian. Bash their heads, lay their skins, and make them scream in pain. Let him alone and think you're done. Let's start another refrain. Bester loved ships and women. He howled when they boarded him. His ship was, his ship was boarded by reavers. Now he howls when they board him. Bash their heads, lay their skins, and make them scream in pain. Let him alone and think you're done. Let's start another refrain. Boss Higgins' word was law. His, his, Boss Higgins' word was law. What he said was written in stone. The reavers hit Higgins' moon. Now the law is written in bone. Mash their heads, lay their skin, and make them scream in pain. Let him alone and think you're done. Let's start another refrain. Banty and Mingo are fine twins. You can't tell one from the other until they met a band of reavers. Now Mingo is the prettiest brother. Mash their heads, lay their skin, and make them scream in pain. Let him alone and think you're done. Let's start another refrain. Jubal was a bounty hunter, a sadist through and through. He rambled about philosophy while reavers started to chew. Bash their heads, lay their skin, make them scream in pain. Let him alone and think you're done. Let's start another refrain. No mercy, no mercy, they all were weak. Cattle for the slaughter. Open them up and look inside. I think I see Harry Potter. Bash their heads, lay their skin, make them scream in pain. Let him alone and think 
longer done the start another refrain. <laughs> ah, the songs that we write. They're not all, you know, creepy, actually. This next song I'm going to do, it was written for the episode Out of Gas, and it's actually one of my favorites. It will be on the CD Selkuth when it comes out next year. That is my next CD. Uh, that album is all about, uh, well, Selkuth means when everything is strange and different, yet you find it marvelous anyways. And it's, it seems very appropriate, you know, particularly the fact that I've been playing at conventions for so long. <laughs> strange and different, yet marvelous you know we coming to these cons it's just you know there's so much passion and 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 energy and creativity and it's it's not the regular type it's not regular people type this is something so much better so this song was written for the episode out of gas and uh basically in the it starts off uh there's a point when uh, malcolm turns to Kaylee and says you want to keep breathing right and for for them it's about staying alive and that's the whole like the theme of the episode it's keep breathing keep going but sometimes when life is like throwing you curveballs covid or or you know trauma or dr dramatic things happening in your life you kind of got to turn around you got to decide you want to keep breathing you want to keep breathing don't you breathing now, gotta remember the reason, won't you? The reason to take her out. Treat her properly, she'll be with you the rest of your days. It all starts with breathing deeply, breathing in and out. I began looking past what was to what a life could be. That's where I found so much freedom and a little serenity. An explosion knocked us to the ground, but we got back on our feet. Turned back the clock to remember why and what a life could be. Remember the reason, won't you? The reason you take her out. Treat her properly, she'll be with you the rest of your days. But it all starts with breathing deeply, breathing in and out. Life challenges with a little bit of prayer. Others turn, they sit head on, that's how they take it there. Sometimes it's sad to face what's true and try a different tack. You gotta keep on breathing, the rain will turn and back. You wanna keep breathing. Remember the reason, won't you? The reason you take her out. Treat her properly, she'll be with you the rest of your days. It all starts with breathing deeply, breathing in and out. Fight on through space, though I might fail. I'll boost the signal through the night, even if I'm feeling frail. When at last you answer my call, we'll fix our damaged hearts. Gotta keep on breathing, we will. 
Conventions kind of add so much, something I, I totally miss. I, I miss seeing my friends at conventions. It, it's, it's funny, they're, I don't know about you, but for me, I have friends that I don't see that often, that I don't talk to that often. They're really close to me, but I don't communicate with them that much. And I'm okay with that. And I, but there's still like, some deep friendship and uh, that, that bring something that brings us together. I have friends from this Renaissance Festival in Kansas City who are like, you know, I love these people. And yet I haven't seen them in 10, 15 years. And conventions every year since 2002, I've been coming to this convention, Dragon Con. And every year I come here and I see friends that I don't see anywhere else and it changes over time um, things change some years you can't make it some years uh, you make it twice <laughs> but it's a powerful thing and it's um, it brings me much joy so I'm looking I'm happy to be here playing for you right now but I can't wait for next year I, I'm sure you feel the same as we wrap up this whole convention with this show um, I can't wait to, to do something more with this. And, you know, maybe this will be an add-on thing where our, we'll have the digital aspect too for those of you who can't make it to Dragon Con. But nevertheless, I'm excited that uh, to go back to this convention next year and sing some of these songs live as I think about which song I want to sing next. I think I'm going to sing this one. This is... Uh, Last night we would, uh, or Sunday night, I guess it is, every year we do uh, Hobbit drinking songs. And this is one of those shows that I truly love. Um, it's, it's the Hobbit in me. And when I was, a, when I was younger, I used to, uh, there, I, I played Dungeons and Dragons. My first favorite character was a Hobbit. And I had this affinity to small things. I think I was smaller. And, and being in closets and small little hobbit holes, you know, small places, it just felt comfortable to me. I'm sure there's some psychologists right now psychoanalyzing me. But whatever the case, it got me falling, falling in love with hobbits. And uh, when I came across Lord of the Rings and, and The Hobbit, uh, I, was, I was in, all in. And so... Since I like doing pub songs, I'm going to do this one. So what I don't do is often for outside of the Hobbit drinking songs, but it's a wonderful song. Because everybody needs a drinking song. Everybody needs a carol. Everybody needs a drinking song. So tap, 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 another barrel. Some like to drink the whole night long. Some like to drink like fishes. Some like to drink the whole night long. So best bring in more dishes. Some like to munch on mushroom pie. Some like to eat stewed rabbits. Some like to munch on mushroom pie. So hone your cooking habits. Everybody needs a drink of some. Everybody needs a carol. Everybody needs a drink of song. So tap, 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 another barrel. Some like to smoke old Toby Lee. Some like to smoke a pipe. Some like to smoke old Toby Lee. So don't let's hear you 
strife. Some like to dress in their best clothes. Some like to dress real fine. Some like to dress in their best clothes. So show me you, I'll show you mine. Everybody needs a drink and song. Everybody needs a carol. Everybody needs a drink and song. So tap, 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 another barrel. Some like to sing along with me. Some like to sing quite cheery. Some like to sing along with me. So let's make this one beery. Some like to drink the whole night long. Some like to drink all night. Some like to drink the whole night long. So let's do it upright. Everybody needs a drink song. Everybody needs a carol. Everybody needs a drink song. So tap, 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 another bell. Everybody needs a drink song. Everybody needs a carol. Everybody needs a drink song. So tap. Speaking of hobbits, uh, I am actually working on a new CD. It's from uh, it's an album called "Dancing with Hobbits." I'm a it's an album of uh, traditional uh, well not traditional but dance music for hobbits. It's uh, the music is being written by my friend Sam Gilogli and I. Sam plays the fiddle. I play the auto harp. It's all instrumental, just auto harp and fiddle, and it's a uh, some. It's, can be wonderful. We're putting out a new single each and every week or a month. Sorry, <clears throat> so as the, as the plan, anyways. And then next year, we hope to put together a full length CD of uh, dancing music for hobbits. Uh, go check it out. You can find the first track, which is Hobbit Hornpipe, <clears throat> now streaming everywhere. The Brandywine River Reel will be out on Bilbo Baggins' birthday, which is September twenty second. So. And that's not all I have. In fact, uh, this, this uh, what is it? This Monday or Tuesday, I have a re-release of my CD, St. Patrick's Day. It has, I think, three or four new tracks on it. Uh, I think th three new tracks and plus a new recording or two uh, new recordings of songs and a couple mi new mixes of songs as well. So if you'd like to check it out, you can uh, head on over to keltfather.net and get your copy right now or find it everywhere you know if you've already bought it you should be able to uh listen to the new album over on Bandcamp too so all right this song is a a, a song that i wrote because again it, it's one of the songs i wrote with dragon con in my mind so i've been wearing a kilt at dragon con since we started this convention and Andrew and I were some of the first to go roaming around the convention wearing kilts and then they soon they were all over the place and then uh, what was it utility kilt got uh, got made to the dealer's room and it, everything changed uh, but we were like some of the first wearing kilts and I love wearing a kilt and I, I do it quite a bit I have a CD called kilted for her pleasure some of you got that good job <laughs> I have, it's called kilted for her pleasure and I ended up wanting to write a new song for people who love kilts, but not really just that. It's actually a song about everyone. Everyone who feels a little bit different and strange. Everyone at the convention. Because when you come to a convention, you are a little bit different. And that's okay. In fact, I think it's my kilty pleasure. Let me tell you who I am. Red-blooded American I work 12-hour days Sweating hard for crap pay The days are far too long When at last the weekend comes The pants go in the bin And the kilt comes on again joyful expression as I wrap my kilt round my waist. 
I latch on my sporn and pull up my stockings. A smile grows on my face. And it's off the pub, or the fair, or the fest. A wee swing goes into each step. Cause I'm American born and Celtic forever. And both are truly blessed. I may never know what it means to be normal, nor have I knowingly cared. I will dance the streets, though it makes you uncomfortable. My kilt will fly in the air, cause it's my guilty pleasure. Yes, it's my guilty pleasure. Some say that I'm strange, or call me a girl. They like to make fun of me. I blow off their jokes because I am proud of my Scottish ancestry. But I'm also proud of the blood in my veins, as different as our country. My kilt is a symbol of the land that I love and all of its diversity. I may never know what it means to be normal, nor have I knowingly cared. I will dance the streets, though it makes you uncomfortable. My kilt will fly in the air, cause it's my guilty pleasure. Yes, it's my guilty pleasure. You can say what you like, but the times they are changing, we celebrate our differences. Be black, brown, or white, I will fight for your right, because I know what it means to be scared. See, my family wore kilts, and we fought in Culloden. We Celts were all one time oppressed. So I'll tear down your draw, tear down your wall with my southern draw, while donning my highland dress. I may never know what it means to be normal, nor have I knowingly cared. I will dance the streets, Though it makes you uncomfortable, my kilt will fly in the air. Cause it's my guilty pleasure. Cause it's my guilty pleasure. Cause it's my guilty pleasure. Woo! Yeah. Guilty pleasure. It brings you, it brings me a lot of joy to see the faces of people actually you know i really i love seeing the people at dragon con so i would love it if you are able to uh you can go to either to my facebook page and tag me uh, post a picture and tag me uh, at kelt father uh kelt father down there um let me see a picture of what you're doing while watching the show or whatnot uh, take a picture what is your guilty pleasure or guilty pleasure um i would love to know how you experience Dragon Con, and there's only no better way of doing that than with with photos and videos. You can do do video as well. I would love to see that. So go share that. And if you want to send me a link, you can send it again to sing along at keltfather.net and get that free uh, songbook and bonus goodies. There's some free music there. So and of course you can also sign up to my mailing list because that is the number one way to stay a trap on top of what I do. All right. I'm going to do a song for, this is a song that I, I, I wrote for the episode, The Message. And uh, In It A Body is mailed to the crew of, of Serenity. Um, this is for Firefly, once again. And it's sent with a message. It says, uh, bring me home. Bring me back to my family. When it... I took the story back to the Battle of Serenity Valley and when I wrote the song and soldiers fighting side by side and they know one of them is not going to make it out alive and he tells his friend, bring me home, bring me back to my family. I'd like to dedicate it to all those who serve our country. Whether you be <laughs> military or working the front lines of uh, hospitals, thank you so much for helping our country keep going. Mama, I died of man. When 
my breath has left to another song that is about death but also again celebrating life so I saw the movie the, the the Hobbit and the death scene for Thorin it was very powerful to me I don't know if it did anything for you but for me I was bawling I mean tears just <laughs> and it was because the actor captured a moment in my life something that I saw happen and touched me so incredibly years ago I was hired by an organization called Swan Songs in Austin and what they did is they brought musicians in to sing for people who are on death's door I think it's like the last 48 or 72 hours of their life they know they're gonna pass away um, and so they just bring music into their life uh, the woman in question, she was a, she was Irish, and uh, so I was trying to figure out what kind of song to play. I decided when Irish eyes are smiling, a wonderful, beautiful song uh, that uh, Bing Crosby killed <laughs> years ago. Just did a brilliant job, and um, I sat down. I started playing. I started playing the music for this song, and and. It, watching the lady and just singing to her for this this moment when I saw the life expire from her 
when she breathed her last breath. I mean, she was, you know, her eyes, I don't remember if her eyes were open now, but all I remember was seeing her breath pass from her body. And of course, I, I left there and I was in tears. I was bawling once again. But it, it took me back. When I went to The Hobbit, I was like, that, that actor, I don't know if he's seen death or he's just really good at capturing it, but he did an absolutely amazing job. And I wanted to write a song. Say for, for Thorin, but it's also for that lady. Dragon and gold. I tell the children they giggle at the splendor of memories told. Thorin was the enigma, a story I couldn't unveil. He's the one I'll always remember. And at last I end my tale. I don't know that I ever knew him, but I saw passion in him. Inspired me, set a fire under me. At least he tried. He told me how I moved him to a merrier world. He sighed with food and cheer, eluded him. Then he died. Can't believe he died. Over hills, through woods, across streams He made the world more beautiful A harp of safer place to be I'm still wrapped in my blanket Hoping he'll rap on my door To invite me on another adventure Cause this is what friends are for I don't know that I ever knew him but I saw passion in his eyes He inspired me Set a fire under me At least he tried He told me how I moved him To a merrier world he sighed With food and cheer eluded him And he died Can't believe he died That, of course, is on the Robin Nagyenbard's newest CD, I Will Not Sing Along. This is a song that, well, is, I, I wrote for my wife a few years back, and it's still one of my favorite songs to sing, because it's, it's, a, it's a love song, but it's great sing-along, and as someone said, it's not your typical love song, which I really liked as well. It's got a great part for you, and I will guide you into the sing-along part at the end uh, after the break, so stay tuned for that. I walk down a dusty old road. 
didn't know what I'd find or where I'd go. Tree limbs hung low and they blocked my view. I saw you through the branches and I, I wished I knew ya. You wrote your name on my soul and I feel like I'm out of control. Wrote your name on my soul, that's what it is, so I'll go with the flow. We looked each other in the shadows, I'm sure I couldn't see. Step closer in your beautiful face, look up at me. I took your hand and mine, we wandered off down the road. It feels so right, it's like I've always known ya. You wrote your name on my soul and we laughed as I twirled you about. You wrote your name on my soul and held your breath as I touched your mouth. Adventures of a flow My love only grew Her love it grew How did you know that I would be so in love with you? As high as I want to be. In the valley of love we sat beneath the tree. Our lips were red from cherries and a long kiss. We lay there for hours in the stars, she got her tenderness. You wrote your name on my soul and I saw it in the constellation. You wrote your name on my soul and my blood is pumping elation All right, your part is coming around. so much for watching the show. I hope you had a ton of fun. And if you did, make sure you send an email to singalong at keltfather.net. Follow me on the socials and uh, Spotify's and the Amazons or wherever you are online. And of course, sign up to my mailing list. Head on over to keltfather.net um, to sign up to that. I thank you so much. And, and don't forget to buy a CD. 
<laughs> you can support my music that way. It is a wonderful way of, of making sure that I make a living with music. Uh, you will also, when you go to that killfather.net, you'll find links to this to the store where you can buy uh, CDs and merch and digital downloads. But you'll also find links to my PayPal and Venmo if you want to just send a tip. So thanks so much. I'll talk to you later. Slideshow.